morning guys oh my god I'm getting too old to do this morning getting up and flying nonsense they're picking me up at 5 35 a.m. get to the airport uh, flight leaves apparently it's on schedule for like a little after 8 so um, I'm just gonna get my stuff packed up and then we'll make our way over to the bus to get picked up So if you guys are watching this video, you're seeing this content, wondering why I got my Disney hotel room here, or resort room, but I'm back at home, I decided it would be a smart idea on my point to film the haul stuff that I'm getting now, just so I don't have to basically film even more content when I get home for this Disney trip, and it takes even longer to get out, since I'm going to be quite busy when I get back home. So I figured why not just film this stuff now after each day that I go to a park and then when I get home I can just do all of the park content and the haul content at one time. Just get all the videos made and not have to worry about it. So we're actually at this point two days in. So for the first day we have Disney Springs and the elephant in the room is the Legos. I don't have any of the Legos to show because I want to hold those off to the Lego reveal video from my challenge and that's actually going to be a lego video but it's going to be geared towards a challenge that i made for myself here in disney world so when that one goes out make sure to stay tuned for that but some of the other things i got in disney springs happen to be a couple pieces of art which i found absolutely adorable and i like the postcards because they're the actual art but a lot cheaper and it actually you can show these off in a lot more places than those big ones so for the first one we got bambi really cool i love the vibe they give off it's very sweet innocent and again these things are only 5.99 a piece so if you want to save yourself on the art but you want to get the art for your room or your office or your home whatever it is these are a fantastic way to do it and then you just put a simple frame on it and you have a nice piece of art to hang up and then to start off the pin collection we have a really really cool one and i had to buy this one it is a little pricier coming in at 34.99 but for the size of the pin and the quality of it, it's fantastic. I mean, it's got all the little the ghouls and ghosts on there. The mansion itself. Looks like the groundskeeper over here with the dog. The wife. Some of the other ghosts and goblins. Oh, the three hitchhiking ghosts. Madame Leota. It's a very... Oh, Hatbox Ghost at front center. Uh, this one is really cool. This one I wanted to get because I have the Christmas one. And I thought it was cool that they finally came out with a uh, Halloween one. Or at least one that I know about now. This one is, um, it's got a little thing on it that you can turn on the back to keep track of, of the days that show up here in these two little slots. Uh, but this is Ichabod Crane and uh, Sleepy Hollow. This is cool because not a lot of people know about that movie. It's an older one. Doesn't get enough attention, I don't think. Um, but it's definitely one that you want to watch during Halloween. It's cool. I absolutely love the design of this one. Very neat looking. Headless Horseman front and center. Ichabod on the side with his horse. And then this one comes in at $29.99. And also coming in at $29.99 is a set of four that I got for Winnie the Pooh. I'm a huge fan of Winnie the Pooh. I didn't want to buy the other ones that they had for like the Fab Five, um, Chip and Dale, just because for a few of the characters, it looked like they were pulling the designs from those characters from the newer shows. And it's not bad art, it's just not art that I'm particularly into. So I wanted to pass on them. So instead, we got these little guys, and I love them. We got Winnie the Pooh coming out of the pumpkin. We got Vampire Tigger. Uh, we got, looks like Frankenstein Eeyore. Okay, that one makes sense. 
and Piglet is a little witch. So I think that's really cool. I love these. Obviously Winnie the Pooh is my favorite. And another yellow one, we have Milo um, from Atlantis The Lost Empire. And he's played by Michael J. Fox, I believe. He did a fantastic job with it. And that's their ship that they use to get down there. Awesome pin. And now that they're starting to come out with stuff for that movie, I want to pounce on it and try and see if I can find as much as I can. This one is adorable. This is probably one of my favorite scenes in Big Hero 6. I wanted to get this one. I believe it's a yellow. Yep, yes it is. So it's around that $11.99, $12.99 price range. Um, it's adorable. I love this one. It's cute, fluffy, and it's cool. I also wanted to pick up a Orange Bird Florida pin that they had. They have a couple of them. Um, but I don't believe I have this one. And this one uh, is... I think it's just a flat, yeah, $12.99. I think it's a cool pin. Now for these next two, they're kind of a bigger collection of pin, uh, coming in at $17.99 for both of them. The first one is freaking awesome, because this is another movie that does not get enough love and attention uh, with Hercules. This one has all of the, um, all of the secondary characters, basically, in the movie Pain and Panic, Pegasus, Phil, uh, the Muses. It's so cool. I also think it's cool not only that they're coming out with a whole bunch of pins for movies like Hercules or Atlantis, but they're also starting to put a lot of the secondary characters into it, like the Muses or Phil. Uh, Pegasus and, well, yeah, Pegasus I think we get enough of in everything. Um, and Pain and Panic, we don't really see them as much so it's cool to see these guys in here too and then we got this cute one with alice with all the little flowers and bugs and whatnot from wonderland very neat the art style for alice is what got me because it's it's not what i was expecting them to do for this one but it works and then coming in at 12.99 to round out the pin collection since i am a chase card member holder i had to use my chase card once while i was down here but I got a pin, and it's a Chase exclusive Disney Reward pin of Lilo and Stitch in their little spaceship zooming around. I'm guessing Cinderella's Castle, Magic Kingdom. Um, at least that's what I'm thinking of it. It's kind of hard to read it, but it says Disney Rewards 2022. So same thing right here, just right here. I think it's a really neat looking pin. And now crossing over to today, I have Magic Kingdom. And in all honesty, I really didn't get a whole lot. Besides food based stuff, I only got two items. The first one being this gigantic puzzle. Actually, it's a four puzzle set. Each puzzle is 500 pieces, um, but it's all four of the places set up in like the 50s anniversary look. This is a four puzzle set of all of the parks at night, which I think is awesome. Epcot's always been one of my favorites. Um, but the Tree of Life, the Castle, the uh, Hollywood Tower of Terror, those are all really cool when they're lit up at night. And I thought it'd be cool to get a puzzle of each one. The puzzles themselves are 25 by 14, so they're a pretty decent size. I would like to get all four of them done and then framed. That's going to take up a lot of wall space. Um, but yeah, I, I thought this was awesome. And it tops in at $34.99. And I think it's a really good way of commemorating the, the 50th anniversary with all four of the parks, so it's really cool. And then one thing I didn't know I needed was a combination of The Nightmare Before Christmas, which is my all-time favorite movie, and one of the coolest Halloween movies, Hocus Pocus. It's the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular Magic Kingdom 2022 Magic Band. This is awesome. I didn't know I needed this, um, but then I saw it, and it's a limited run, and it came in at $39.99. Limited edition, $37.80. Take a look at the Magic Band. Very cool. It's got looks like Jack Skellington and Zero on one end. And on the other end you have the Sanderson sisters. That is awesome. And I love the artwork for this too. They they found an artwork that works both works best for both of them and they were able to mesh them really well. But that is Magic Kingdom in a nutshell. I only got a couple items there, so moving on. We have Hollywood Studios. We got a couple pins. Well, actually, we got a pin and a keychain. The first pin is for uh, the Cantina. I really like this one. It's cool. I like the style of it. It's an open edition. 
Um, it's weird. They they had open edition or day one edition ones before, like a year or two after the thing actually opened. Um, I, I want to say the Rise of the Resistance was the same way. I ended up picking up that pin, which was an opening day pin, I believe, and it was like a year and a half op after opening day. So they definitely have a decent amount of these lying around. Uh, this one was nine ninety nine. Not a bad price for the pin. It's good quality. I like it. And the keychain, I'm a massive fan of. This thing is amazing. It's a Black Spire Outpost. It's got Batu written on it. And on the back of it, it's Oga's Canteen. Cantina, sorry. Awesome. I love this. And for a price, it's not horrible. It's $14.99. Honestly, I mean, maybe a little high, but not much. For, for the big keychains like this, for the good quality ones, I usually go around 10 to 15 bucks. That's what I figure you're going to be paying. 10 bucks, I, I feel, would be like a perfect steal of a deal with these things, and anything higher than 15 would just be way too much, unless you're talking about like a solid huge one. And then for $29.99, I picked up, uh, I believe I actually showed it in the video too, um, I made my selection of the medals that they had there, and I got the the Mandalorian coins. Comes with a set of four. I kind of want to crack this open and see. Oh, tape. Oh, tape. And I bet you it's on this side. Yep. Okay, so let's crack it open and see what we got. Work with me here. Work with me. You really don't want to work with There you go. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are solid. Holy cow. Like... <laughs> I was thinking these were going to be like some th thin coins. It was going to be, you were paying for the name of it being Star Wars. But no, these are, these are solid. This was totally worth the money. Yeah. Holy smokes. This is totally worth the money. And the other ones that I showed in there, if they're anything like this one, 100% worth it. This is a product that is worth the money that you're putting, paying for it. So the next two things I picked up that were actually um, Pop Funko figures. Go figure. Um, let's see here. We got Fennec and Boba Fett. And I'm a huge fan of both these characters. I thought they played their characters very well in the book of Boba Fett as well as the Mandalorian. As far as prices go, Fennec was more of a short-term win. And they'll both be a long-term win for sure. They go for a little higher out here in Disney. So they're $14.99. Pop Funko figures are usually about $11.99 in the store, or if they're marked down, um, they're usually about five, six bucks. So in the after, in the market right now, Fennec goes for about 16 or 17, while Boba Fett only goes for about eight. And that's because obviously they mass produce more of him. He's the main star, people want him. So there's a lot more of him floating around, and this is a very new Pop Funko figure. Down the road, he'll be worth more. Short term, long term. That's how I look at it. But they're very cool, and I can't wait to add them to my collection back at home. So for Epcot, obviously I stopped over at World Showcase and uh, Japan, which is one of my favorite stores, and I ended up picking up a few items. The first one is this Pokemon tin. It's um, modeled after the Ultra Ball from the games. I think I have a Pokeball and a Great Ball at home, but I'm not sure if I have an Ultra Ball, so I wanted to pick one up. Now this, I believe, has three three packs in it yep three tcg packs or three tra trading card game packs um and two sticker sheets okay i've never seen the sticker sheets before so that's new the only issue is that they're the pokemon go booster packs which I i'm i'm fine with them they're pokemon cards so they're cool but um i would much rather have like the other pokemon packs in it like the normal traditional packs but this will do just as fine um, this one came in, I believe, at $17.95. So if you were to buy this in a store, just to show you the markup on it, these things usually go about $12 to $14. So it's not a huge markup, but it is marked up nonetheless a few dollars more than what you might find in, say, Target or Walmart. Let me crack it open. Yeah. These are sticker sheets. Oh, Squirtle, Bulbasaur. Really? No Charmander? Oh and three packs now to continue on with the japan and pokemon i uh one of the games or a couple of games that i loved growing up were pokemon gold and silver so i wanted to get something to kind of commemorate gold and silver i don't really have much to show those off i decided to get two modeling kits one of lugia for silver and one of ho -Oh for gold they're pretty easy they're not meant to be hard models to put together you basically just unclip them from the the trays or the holders that they have and you can snap all the pieces together to make the models. So they're really cool and price-wise are not that bad. Coming in at $16.95 for both. So 
or a, a piece. During my Epcot vlog, I posted a, a little snippet of a gift shop that they had. So I went into that gift shop and I actually picked up a couple of pins or a few pins. This one is a limited release. Ooh, gumbo. But they're both food and wine festival ones. I don't think I have any pins with Tiana on them. It's really cool, I like it. And it comes in at the normal $17.99. I also picked up one with Figment on it for 2022. Uh, just One Spark Cooks My Creation. And this one also comes in at $17.99. And the last pin I got is the, ooh, that is really dark. Uh, Norway, it's the Viking symbol that we saw on the Epcot uh, videos. Very cool design. This one, I believe, is just, oh, it's a silver, so it's like a $9.99 one. Uh, but it's very cool. I like it. To close out the haul, I also did a little last minute shopping at the Pop Century gift shop, and I picked up some more uh, pins and souvenirs that I wanted to get for people. We got a piglet pin. I got this one because I don't have, I don't believe I actually have any piglet pins. Everything I have is either like Christopher Robin, uh, with poo or just poo. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. The next one, I can't come down here without getting a Nightmare Before Christmas pin, so I got this one. I don't have many of Sally. They're mainly of Jack or Zero, um, and even Oogie Boogie has a few. So I wanted to get one from Sally, and this one's actually really cool. I like the way the heart isn't, it, it's, it's very geometric and, and choppy, like it would be cut out, um, very Nightmare Before Christmas style, not a rounded heart. It's just a really cool design. And I like the black on silver look too. And this one is awesome. I, I don't even need to say anything about this one. This one reigns supreme as, uh, as a good pin. And all of these are silver as well. Flubber. And the last pin I picked up was for Hercules. Honey, you mean Hunkules. I absolutely love the muses in the movie. They're hilarious, especially her. This pin is fantastic. But that is gonna do it for the haul part of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a fun time on my trip. Um, I didn't wanna leave. This is actually the last day I'm packing everything up right now, ready to go home. Thank you for sticking around with this trip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video, whatever that may be, probably the Lego video that I wanna work on. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.